up guys, it's Carl and Adam from Thoughts in Motion. And today, as you can see in the lovely background here, is mine and Carl's old college. If you can see behind my big if head. You can see behind. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason we're standing here in front of the college is not for a reasonably entertaining backdrop, but because... Partially. Partially. <laughs> but because since we both attended, what have we done since leaving? So this is going to be a video about... Uh, you know, aimed at college students, university students who are, you know, have left or are close to leaving and just how to spend that time after they've finished and what they can hope to get up to and achieve in that time. So Carl, when did you leave college? In when did you leave this college behind me? Right, okay, so obviously we're talking about specifically college, not university. We'll start so, with college and we'll move on to university. Yeah, so college I attended 2011 to 2013, two years, two year course, that was it, yeah, 2013, so it's been five years. You clearly didn't do maths. <laughs> it's, two, it's 2018 now, who knew it was 2018 I know, now? I know. So it's five years since, five I, years. since I left, yeah. What have you oh, done yeah. in those five years? Do you think that these five years have been productive for you? 100% definitely, 100%. Yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously, as I just talked about after that, I then went on to attend university, which was the next productive step mm -hmm. in, the, in the process. Mm -hmm. And then after that, that's when the most kind of productiveness and the most kind of value came for me in my life. Because obviously, I gained a lot more experience um, for various reasons. I, I started a, sort of that, the part-time job while I was at university. That's how I met you. That's how that then led to these videos. Mm -hmm. It's weird how things work out. Yeah. Um, so that was, that was really good. Obviously, I gained a lot more experience in the career aspect inside of things, which I feel like I talk about in every single video, which I probably do, but I do it for a reason. <laughs> um, Not to brag. Yeah, exactly. So I used all of the experience, knowledge and education that you're meant to go to college for to the best of my ability to actually create something and create a career after I left college five years ago, mm. basically. So and I've done many things since then. So, saying that Carl was quite successful after he left college, I took the other route and I wasn't very successful in <laughs> anything. I s wasted the years after college. I didn't go to university like Carl did. I wasted those years doing absolutely nothing but, you know, feeling, to be honest, a little bit sorry for myself that I'd done a course that I didn't enjoy. And I got a qualification that I didn't want to use. And I was feeling pretty, you know, pretty sad doom and gloom like doom today and gloom. yeah i was pretty depressed <laughs> about it like like the weather today that's yeah, how i yeah. felt but i like to look at carl's life and say if i had like i'm okay now like i think things have definitely picked up now yeah, that definitely, i've definitely. you know put a bit more focus which we'll, yeah. we'll go on in, on into in a minute but i think that if i had used say the two years after college a bit more productively and use them to say maybe travel around a bit or you know, experience because I've still never been to a, like a festival, a music festival. I've still never yeah. been to one of those. Like, yeah. there was many times in that time when I had the freedom to do that, but you didn't. But I didn't take advantage right. of the freedom. So when you guys finish, you know, college or university, you then have that more. F you have freedom then, which I don't think a lot of people our age realize that you have a lot of freedom. You don't have as many responsibilities yeah. as someone who say, you know for example, like late, late 20s, early 30s, has yeah. a bit more responsibility, they might have a child, a house to look after. Naturally, age just starts to give more responsibility, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. exactly, but you know, there's a few people that I know that are in college and don't do anything with that spare time. Like, I attended college three days a week yeah. and wasted the other three days. I didn't do anything productive. Yeah. I didn't look for anything productive. This is the thing, productive, you know, Blech. Productive things don't come by <laughs> just sitting waiting for them. You have to look them. You have to try new things, which is what them. Our, all our videos are really about. At the end of the yeah. day, it's about going out there and making things happen and being productive and being motivated. And that's what it all comes back to, obviously. But yeah, exactly. So when you, when you finish college or university, you have freedom, and you should use that freedom, you know, fucking wisely, because otherwise, you'll end up, you know, in a, in a, in a job years later and not have any experience behind you, don't have any life behind you, you know? I think what it can relate to is that, that, that position and that situation that a lot of people fall into, which is they go to college to do whatever subject or anything like that because they feel like it's the right thing to do or they've been told to do it, advised to do it, or they just kind of fall into it because they've got nothing else to do. And then what happens is you go to college, you do that, 
I'm mainly talking about younger people, so 16, 17, 18 years old kind yeah. of thing, that kind of demographic. Um, they go and do that, and then they leave college, and they have, they have some kind of qualification, and that's it. They don't have anything else. Mm. What do they do next? They get a normal part-time job. Mm. And then that's how you can fall into these normal ways of life that we've also previously talked about in the videos, like being stuck in a dead-end job or being stuck when you're not happy with a house and a kid, so on and so forth. That's how these things start. That's the kind of, I feel like that's, that's one of the starting points that it can start to happen. If you don't do something about it then, that can, you can easily fall into that trap mm. straight away at that age, straight away. Mm. So, so it's like if you, leave, if you leave college, the chance of you getting a job, you know, in your chosen field or whatever, or university, the chance of you going straight into a job are pretty slim, especially these days. Um, yeah. So why not take advantage of that? You know, I hear a lot of people complaining that, you know, oh, I can't find a job or this or that. Yeah, take yeah, advantage yeah. of the fact you can't find a job. Do, you know, use that time wisely to find, you know, hobbies that you might want to take up. Like, Extra curriculum. Like, and, and, and in a <laughs> really just like out there scenario, say for example, you know, you're not doing much and you know, you take up yoga from YouTube videos, right? Yeah. You really like yoga. You start practicing yoga more okay. in your free time. You go to, you know, whatever part-time job. Yeah. And then over time you get more involved in yoga classes mm -hmm. and you become a yoga instructor. That's not something you would ever think And it just happened. kind of naturally happened yeah. almost because well, of the way of the wife works. Yeah. Because you exactly. looked for something, you yeah. found something. The more you experiment and look so out at like things, I think you'll find them. What we're trying to say is what do you want to do with that time? And you what, you, what, you do, what you do with that time has a lot to do with who you are, what you want to be, what you want to do and who you become. Basically, so it's a very, it's, there's a lot of freedom, but at the same time, a lot of responsibility almost because with that freedom comes those decisions. It's like, do I want to use that freedom to go out and party, to go and have drinks, to go and have a good time with friends because you can, because you're young? Mm -hmm. Or do you use that freedom to make the initiative to go, okay, so I'm studying this course, what else can I do to further my information, further my education, further my motivation for this subject, for this course, so I can then benefit later in life? Mm, I like that. I you like can that look idea. at it both so ways. It's like, so if you're doing like a, you know, like a computer animations course, for yeah. example, college doesn't stop when you finish college. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You, like when you finish college for the day, you go home and you keep animating shit. You keep working on it yeah, because yeah, yeah. The more you can do in that spare time, it's going to benefit you later on in life. And a lot of people don't realize that. It's, so. it's a 50 50 thing. It's like what I tell my students. I do 50% of the work, which is advise them what to practice, tell them what to practice, tell them how to do it. Mm. The other 50% is them sat at home doing that. And if they don't do that, they're not going to progress and get better. Exactly. Same exact principle applies to this situation. Basically. Exactly, but I think so. everyone thinks, oh, I've just, I'm fresh out of college, I'll do it later, I'll do this later, I'll go here yeah, later. It's so but easy to do that. run out of time. Like, yeah. I finished college back, I finished this college back in 2014, four years ago. So, yeah, so we're coming back to what we talked about at the beginning where like, the time has flown by. Both of us feel like it was two minutes ago yeah. that we were at college. It doesn't feel like that long ago. But when you say it out loud, how long it has been, it's crazy. Mm. And then when you think about what have I done in that time, it's even crazier. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like, so, have, I, have I spent the last four years wisely? Some, two of them, yes. Two of them, no. So I think, you know, I think if I'd used all four years wisely, I'd be more ahead of yeah. where I am now. But that's the advice I want to give you personally from this. I don't know, you know, your ideas, but I want to tell you that if you've just left college or have left university and you have a bit more freedom now, use it wisely. Use it to, you know, fair enough, go partying. Go get pissed. Yeah, yeah definitely, go definitely. wake up in your underwear in some strange house somewhere. I don't, I think that's fun. I we're think not saying amazing. not do that. <laughs> we're not saying don't do that. But also use the other time that you have to, you know, focus on a hobby, a craft, something that you enjoy. Just use the time wisely to advance your life. Don't waste it away. Don't piss it away. Don't spend it thinking, oh, I've got plenty of time to do this. Because I've known people that I've known people that have died, and you know, it's quite sad now that I'm 21 and know people that have died who whose life have, yeah. has been cut short before they even had the chance to do anything with it. Yeah, exactly. And you never know whether that's going to be you. You know, I might not be here in a year's time. So I've got to make the most of 2018. I think I think what I want to say to kind of bring this video to an end is in f say in five years time do you if you're currently at college or you're leaving college do you want to look back on that period of time and think I've wasted my time or that was just a good t that was just a good period of my life because I had freedom and no responsibility or do you want to look back and think 
what I did helped excel me in my career, in my job, in my hobby. Mm. That's what I want to say. Fair enough. I like, <laughs> it, man. I like it, man. Right, guys, we've been Thoughts in Motion. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.